example one, we have a put option, with, which means it's an option to sell. And the option is to sell 100 Ashanti gold shares at the price of 300 Rand. So the strike price is 300 Rand. Now if we have a put option or an option to sell, you always want to sell at the highest price possible because that will mean that you will make maximum profit. So you always want to sell at the highest price. Now, if the strike price of an option to sell is higher than the market price, the strike price is higher than the market price. That means you will use your option because you will rather sell at the strike price than at the lower market price. So in this case, the put option will be in the money. However, when the strike price is lower than the market price, you have an option to sell you want to sell at the highest price, therefore you will rather sell at the market price and you will not use, it, use your option. Therefore, this option will be out of the money. So let's look at the different scenarios we have here. On 15 January, the market price of the Shanti Gold shares, the market price, is equal to 290 Rand. The strike price is equal to 300 Rand. Right, so currently the strike price is higher than the market price. If you use your option, you can sell your shares at a higher price than the current market price. Therefore, these options will now be in the money. So on 15 January, if the market price is 290 Rand, that is lower than the strike price. Therefore, the option is in the money. You will exercise the option and sell at 300 Rand. So let's look at the next scenario. On 15 March, the market price of the Shanti Gold shares is equal to 315 Rand. The strike price is equal to 300 Rand. So that means on 15 March, the strike price is lower than the market price. You will rather sell at the market price of 315 Rand because that will be more profitable. Therefore, you will not use this option and it will therefore be out of the money. Then the last scenario that's given there is the 15th of July. However, we have to look at the expiry date of this option. It's an American option, which means that you can use it any day up to the expiry date. But the expiry date is 30 June. Now, the price that's given in the third scenario is 310 Rand, the market price. However, it is after the expiry date of the option. Therefore, you can't exercise this option any longer. So, on the 15th of January, when the strike price was higher than the market price, this option was in the money. 
on the 15th of March, when the strike price was lower than the market price, this option was out of the money. And on the 15th of July, it could no longer be exercised because it had already expired.